So Payming Sun or Sunny is the founder of Sunny Life Solutions. She's on a mission to share new human narrative and empower other mid-aged professionals to live with discernment and, and authenticity. She's the author of two international best-selling books, sharing her own awakening journey with a science master degree, master's degree and a certification with Gene Keys, Tiny Habits and Thrive Global. Pei Ming is now a holistic lifestyle mentor to guide people to re-remember the true power and live with sustainable life energy and happiness. She offers her service in both Mandarin Chinese and English to support her clients globally. Okay. Let's oh, you so let much. you start and away yeah. you go, my dear. Oh yeah. What an honor everybody's here with me. I love this interaction. Um, my presentation would be more um, I can ask disagree or agree and you can type the answer, but I think I prepared the slides less than half hour. So the rest of the time really for us to just conversation about something I share, trigger your remembering <laughs> or something you really just got confused. Then we will have enough time to do it. And Jacqueline um, lovely offer the chance to scan through all the question I might miss. But um, I want this to be more for the voyage. Like I'm just, a, hey, come into the boats. Let's get ready to sail, right? Just have some fun together. So I'm going to be um, sharing my screen. I create a short PowerPoint presentation. Like a scientist always just couldn't live without it, right? <laughs> we always just want this uh, PowerPoint, but I, I get a little bit away from that. So let me get my chat so I can see the chat box. I'm doing this. All right, so if I come and see it, Maybe Jacqueline can help me to say, oh, you know, answer somebody. Of course, if I can. That. I, I yeah. really appreciate it. No so made so reason I cannot see it or something. Yeah, yeah that's weird that you can't see it. Uh, but now I even couldn't see my presentation. Ha. Can't, yeah. We can see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so a title, first voyage, like we almost have a technical issue, the boat couldn't get off the ground, <laughs> but we are getting there. Um, so what I want to do for the time we're together is give you the high level understanding, what is gene and what's the keys, how can we use the gene keys to navigate our journey together and has more of the directions. Um, so the first things I want to ask your opinions did you agree or not agree with the Tesla? He's saying, if you want to find a sequence of the universe, think internal energy, frequency, and vibration. So you can type your answer, yes or no, and Jacqueline maybe can share with me um, how many people say yes, how many say no. Wow. Most of us uh, say- Yes, they, they agree for sure. Yeah, well, I think he's really ahead of our time, right? He's like a middle of the 20th century. He already know that, but we finally catch up with what he's saying. <laughs> so the whole, um, the sailing today, I want you to just take an energy sail with me and knowing our body is not just what we see, it's all, the energy and frequency combined. We are actually kind of like a sound box. So we resonate with the sound particularly and also different frequency around us. Sometimes we don't even know we're doing that, but we are definitely tuning in. We are the tuning forks, we call the bio fields. We actually tune into the environments all the time. So if that, we are the energy, we are the tuning forks and next, comments from my favorite Dr. Wayne Dyer. 
he said, you are an infinite spiritual being having a temporary human experience. Do you agree or disagree? Or you have a new definition? Yes, 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 agree. Agree. Yes, agree, agree, agree. Yes, yes, yes. For <laughs> sure. <laughs> But this is a tricky question. You got so many points, you can have a different opinion, right? Sure. For me, the first, I, I really like this man, right? He, he's sharing a lot of things. and But now I look through all the quantum energy analogy, quantum biology I learned in the past years. I, I actually don't think we are the temporary human. We are human. We are the human not born yet. Right. We are just in the process to evolve to a human, but it's not temporary human. We are the human, <laughs> right? So we are really particular, very unique with our energetic fields and with all the inference, we can actually uh, manipulate the whole universe, the magnetic fields by our thoughts. So in here, I think, yes, we are infinite, but we do not have the temporary, we are the human, we have different levels, consciousness, right? So um, that's my definition to say we are actually consciousness. We can be in all different dimensions. We can go the places our mind allow us to go. And we are really no limits. So with that idea, with that, association not totally agree right because we don't really feel we are like that powerful yet because we're not born um there is a system can really help us to get more of the idea about who we are what we are that is the system called human design system jinky is part of the human design system i think like one month ago or maybe more than that we have an event talk about human design system so you might have some idea about if you don't, could you um, kind of come and say, no, there's a new, or you can say yes. And uh, Jacqueline can help me how many people know human design system or not. Okay. I did want to mention that at the very end of, that came in a little bit late that I wasn't really watching for is we got one no from before, one no. And he did say energy beings in parallel human experience. Ah. I like that one. <laughs> I did like that one. Yeah. Energy being in parallel human experience. Well done, AK. Yes, sort of, somewhat. Yes. <laughs> kind of. It is here that, right? Like, oh, what is the human design system, right? Um, it's become a kind of trending language right now. Um, but the reason I ask, because most of people know human design system, but they didn't know he jinkies. They think about they are two different things. So they are just like, uh, what is jinkies? I say it's human design. Oh, I know the body graph. Related, but it's not a complete human design system. That's the complete human design system has a four esoterics. Um, we all know the chakra, right? Then we have this uh, horoscope, the astrology, then the cosmic transits every six days, we move to different code. That code is also correlated with our body graph, the gates. So if you particularly in this, if you have open gates and a 22, then you start to have experience about energy in our body. So that is the system. Then the outside, you can see this hexagram, you know, the six lines, that's the ancient Chinese I Ching, um, maybe more than 8,000 years old. I'm lucky to understand Mandarin, so I'm studied both the I Ching, the Chinese traditional way, and also with the Jin Keith. Um, then the circle, that is um, the ancient Hebrew system called tree of life. That means in their perspective, we don't have a beginning or the end. We always just circling around, collect different experience um, and create our Akash records. And so we actually create our experience every time we come down here to be a different form. That's their tree of life. And also in the points when you make the decision, you actually go in different branch. 
So every moment that decision decision actually is turning point. It's not like we say, oh, my turning point is when I'm at the age 30, I become a mother. That is one turning point. <laughs> but every moment we have all the turning points, that's their um, life view about that. So Jin Keys is the ancient I Ching and the tree of life. Mm -hmm. So that means there is a voyage, there is a pathway for us to navigate through our life. Then we also have a blueprint. That's our genetics in our DNA. Then we can like decode and activate our DNA in the right moments. Even we're not doing that, but we are living through it, right? We have a different hormone system on and off. You got this puberty, you got menopause, you got all this life phases. We just tune into the age or the programs and react to the DNA activation. So even you're not aware, it doesn't matter. We are still lives through it our life journey. So I want to give credit to this man called Richard Rod. He's the uh, author and the founder of the Gene Keys. And I'm honored to work with him to translate his book into Mandarin Chinese in the past two years. It should be done this year. <laughs> um, but through the working with him and also uh, contemplate all these messages, I really get a lot of insights. This is really a tool to get deeper to our genetic level, then we can communicate the right things other than to waste energy to fight against something. Once you know yourself in that deeper level, you feel more flow and appreciate um, all the shadows. So we need shadow. Every shadow has a gift. So don't really think shadow is coming here to punish us or give us feel that very uncomfortable if we don't have shadow we don't even know we have a light right we are in here light shadow is all called together there's no separation there um and they have a freak force in this link if you um, take a picture or something feel free to lock in it's very simple course maybe less 10 minutes you can finish it uh, but it's really profound and simple for you to understand what a gene key is all about so about my role today is to give you more of my perspective about how the tree of life and the I Ching become a, such a good tool um, that's based on my own contemplation, based on my own awakening with this tool. So we talk about there is no end or no beginning right on that uh, Mandela wheel. Then other than that, based on their observation on the tree, I think maybe their lives is so simple. They just sit there, look around all the time, <laughs> other than we just run into get things done, right? Um, so they observe the tree. We only see something above the ground, right? We have a leaf and branches. Some tree can have a flower or fruits, but they all coming from that seed, from that single seed. We are too, we are from that single for the life's egg, right? Everything's from that single genetic combination. Then, but they branch up, they go down, they go up. So when we see is only see up, but we didn't know everything down there actually is more important than up here. Because so many times I have the tree look like dying for years. I'm saying maybe we need to cut it out. But I don't know. Whenever I say I need to cut it out, they just start coming. <laughs> so I know their root never die. They just choose not to come out for some reason, right? We are the same thing. We don't know our DNA. We don't know our, you know, subatomic, there's four elements, things. We just know that we, yes, we have a DNA, we have that. But what that means, we don't even know. But that is so important. Everything up there is a reflection of this. So our uh, uh, Akashi records, our um, unity um, consciousness, the source, sometimes we don't even know we are part of it. We only see this. But the funny part is this is seeing is only like 5% of us. So when we see ourselves or see somebody else, it's only 5% of them. Then we miss all the 95% of information, right? Um, so this is, is what we really 
the core, the essence. But we do have a way to connect with those. So when we do the connection, is when the time we are born, that's the human design. If you do the human design chart, you will have a personality imprinting from the solar system. You will have a design for the solar system imprinting based on the time you're born, that's personality, the 88 days before you're born, that's your design. Based on uh, the human design founder, Ra, he got downloaded for eight days. So that's how the human design system come out. The voice told him that's 88 days before a human being was born, that is your design profile. That's more like a beingness, you're not even aware. But the personality and design and create a new energy field. That's how the Trinity, one plus one never equal to two. One plus one in energetic way is always equal to three. So based on his downloading, so we have more of the quantum view about who we are, right? But then through the environmental trigger, just like I said, your puberty, you know, your your stem cell, your genetics always follow a certain program to activate certain genes. So you start to have your journey and we not able to control this. This is all within us in, inside that for the life's eggs, right? Then through this process, we will have a chem biochemistry reactions. This is our emotions. Emotions really are our chemistry um, because based on the science right now, people can just eat certain chemical. You start to have different emotion trigger but even more fun part, you just have electrical and they just activate part of your brain. You start to feel sad, you feel happy because we are, we just react to that chemistry. So emotion is definitely not us. It's the outcome of the triggers, right? But we do have a way to control is our attitude, right? That's the three different things. Um, if we keep it in new neutral, then everything can be either or. All. But if we become reactive, we become to fight off. Then since that thing we want to fight becomes stronger because we pay more attention to it. That's the power of the human. Um, but if we don't want it, we just suppress it, and it become too much the energy block. That's how our bodies start to have symptoms and the pain. Because we are allow, not allow the energy to flow through from that part of the organ. But this is only 5%, I say. Oh, out of this, to combine our expression actually is all energy. But we cannot grasp about what it is. And that's create our life experience. So hoping that give you more of the feel that, oh, you know, I'm not my emotions. No, I'm not my body. I'm not the record in the past, but they play majority part of it, right? <laughs> but I can definitely choose my attitude. So that is part of the tree of a light is fascinating within the gene keys. Then um, next one is talk about I Ching. This is the book about changes. You might hear about um, somebody teaching how to do in the throwing the coin, how to uh, read your results and uh, how to ask. And this is definitely a powerful tool for Oracle guidance. And it's a wonderful tool for the contemplation too. Then all other is based on our um, ancestor. Again, their simple lifestyle, right? They sit there, they say, oh, it's going to rain. Before it rain, usually has a wing. So they put all this eight different phenomena into a system and try to share that with their villagers. Oh. You know, some they're in the south, so we need to do something. So just kind of warn them what's going on in the natural way. During the time, they really, the only way they want to do is the survival, right? They don't care PhD degree or get a job. <laughs> they just want to survive. So when they're in that mortality, they only just observe everything to benefit to their survival. And that eight different trigrams become hexagram. So it's A times A becomes 64. That's how the 64 combination comes through. Then I think it's in the late 15th century, people bring I Ching into Greek and they using one of the mathematician, he just, oh, this is actually can be a system. That's how the binary, the zero one, start to uh, using 
then um, also the PC language, right? Today's AI is always using us. This is us. We are binary. We are digital. But then we create something alike to help us to do certain things. Then, of course, it's the genetic code. Um, I don't want to do too much of that because I'm genetics, so I tend to be a little bit too detailed on that. But just think about that's the biology. In the time, 8,000 years older, they just know there is some linkage between generations, but they don't know what it is. They don't know that's a DNA, right? Um, so they just have the pattern they can see. It kind of systematically will align with the 64 different combination. So this is the basic. So I want to pause here a little bit to see if there's anything you really need to know before I move on to the next space. And you can put up your hand and ask a question if you'd like. Yeah, I, I can hear you better other than you type it out. Yeah. And there's react, it's under the reactions at the bottom of your screen if you, you have, if you are on a computer, on a computer, excuse me. If not, just put your hand up in the, and I'll watch for it. If you have anything to ask or anything to say, AK, you have raised your hand, so go for it. You can unmute, I believe. Oh, sorry. Now you can. My fault. Thank you. Uh, there can you, go. you hear me? Um, okay. It's yes. kind of quiet. How about now? Oh, yes, perfect. yes. Yeah. Thank okay, you. Okay, good, good. Yeah, um, so uh, one of the questions I had is, uh, I find it interesting that the genetic combinations from three bases are also 64, same as the hexagram. Mm -hmm. um, so does that play a significance in terms of like um, what you get in I Ching? Like, does it relate to actual like genes, biologically speaking? And mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, mean, it is yeah. is related to the genetic energetic field. So DNA actually is not only molecule. DNA has their quantum field. So you have a certain combinations, then you create different version of the quantum field. So then you have a different expression. And the way we have a CT4 is you know, if we choose three bases randomly from this four options, that's the four times four times four, right? It becomes 64. And that 64 combination is a grouping to make 20 amino acids and one group of the star codon. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, it? so, but, but this is, does does the the number of helixes like we are double helix does that play a factor in the sixty four combinations? Um, what happened to the DNA become a gene is a process. They have a base, right? So you have a three 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 three. Every three will encode one amino acid or a stop codon. So in order to have a protein, you have three as one amino acid, three as one amino acid. If, for example, you got three amino acids, a short peptide, then you can have, you know, proline and arginine or something, something, the name of amino acid, and that become a protein. And that protein will have different energy fields. So when the protein transfer to the cells and cell and cell trans uh, communications, they create an energy and frequency to communicate with other cells. That's our body actually doing that every moment. Is that too okay, scientific? Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, no, it, I, I was just trying to understand like if this goes on with like Christ consciousness, because and like they talk about like how you advance in consciousness, apparently you get taller to a certain extent. Or yeah, I mean, that's the gene keys actually talking about after 2027, we were actually yeah. whole sets of the DNA. That's our, we have a 23 chromosomes, right? 23 uh -huh. pairs. But we actually had 24 pairs. But if we don't have a higher consciousness, the 24, that 24 pair is not able to be activated. 
and someone like our Christ and the Buddha, they actually activate that. So we all have that. We just need to raise our consciousness <laughs> so we can uh, become 24 chromosomes, get back to the really human. So when you say the real human, do you mean like the higher self? Well, we all have higher self helping us to be the human. Right. We are actually in the process to evolve, become the true right. human. Right. Um, based on I don't I understanding, I do research because I don't get it. It's like what? What does that mean? Um, you know, my my line is uh, one four in human design. So one is the one never give out the details. So <laughs> so I go into it, understand it. Actually, we are the sixth time to evolve, become a real human. The fifth time before all didn't make it. And we are on the edge is actually look like we have a pretty high percentage to can succeed. But before that, we will have a lot of changes. Uh, so that means if we succeed, then everybody have that 24. Right. Almost and how do you actually. suggest we raise our vibration or? Yeah, that's the whole the gene key thing. We can choose to raise our vibration because we oh. live in the multiple universe, right? Once we know that the only thing is now and here, we don't go anywhere because that tree of a life thing, right? It's the only thing we need to focus just to raise our consciousness and activate the DNA. Then everything will fall into the place, the right timing. Uh, just based on I understand the whole teaching, is not only just to to ask the feature is making the feature. <laughs> so if we know how to speak to it, how to clean ourselves, how to align our uh, genetics in the, the right way. Then, so AK um, has another question for you. Sure, go ahead. AK, go ahead. Uh, thank you. Um, so I feel like there might be a time in the future where if, if enough scientists, for example, or people that are researching learn about this, they'll basically have an ability or there might be a split between artificially uh, increasing a consciousness level versus naturally. And if that happens, is there a difference between the two? Is the end goal going to be different for them? Or the path that you take, would it change the final result? Well, I can only share my, my opinions is anything artificial, even with digital, is not going to make it because the complexity even looks simple, right? Yeah, I just raised out that. But in all this, the synchronicity is not going to use the computer program to decode everything. We are actually better than all other digital devices, it's just we don't know yet. Um, but I think a lot of science is doing that. A lot of science actually couldn't publish in the mainstream because they are not allowed to be published. The reason I know, because I want to dig in, I want to follow, I want to go to search. I do find it's a trend. More and more people knowing that is the way to go, but they don't want to be put in the spots because they are going to lose their job. That's my my observation, <laughs> what's going on in the mainstream, mainstream science, because I, I I understand they need to have some work, they need to have grants. If they don't do whatever the government want them to do, they don't get anything. So they have to start like quiet. But this is, you know, quantum biology has been the past 20 years. They just, every time they have a breakthrough, they have, you know, science of consciousness conference, they have quantum biology summits, they all share in there. But the mainstream science, you cannot find it. You couldn't Google it. You couldn't do chat GPT. They are not there. Okay, thank you. Any other questions for Sunny? About the I Ching? And... Nope, not at this time. Okay, so hope I'm not scaring anybody. <laughs> well, because like we actually do have more potential as we just didn't know. Um, and I'm excited about if we can all do it together. Why not, right? Um, so let's get into the the voyage, right? We are in the boat. We kind of know that what's the jinkies. 
maybe based on the science and maybe based on some um, kind of esoteric systems. And, um, but the use for it is really the teaching. Um, because if they are our inner GPS, because they're based on the genetic, we never change the, our, um, the record, our rooted essence never change. We just change the form when we go down and do it different way. Um, but the, the core, the very deep with the source, you know, like a big band, we got all this different star dust, right? So we are all that, but we all coming from the same source. We have different um, genetics. So we have different experience and filters. So when we are that part of that, then we actually do have an inner GPS within each one of us. It just, if we're not aware enough, we're not relaxed enough, we are not trust ourselves, we always have a false belief in who we are, then we cannot connect to the higher consciousness. But with the three uh, paths, the three uh, sequences in the golden path, you can start to see that. You can start to open more of awareness about who you really is. Um, and that's kind of called self-illumination. Like you start to see the dark we all in the dark is that's how the 3d is we are all in the low con conscious level right um not like in buddha's and you know quite several of the say they can get out the the negativity <laughs> but most of us still here um but if you start to accept your shadow the shadow like i said shadow is the door to go to the lights because we are together the shadow me and the light we just seen the wrong direction. We programmed to see our shadow. Others didn't know, oh, actually we are the light. But these three sequences can give you understanding you have different level of consciousness. You just choose the one you want. For example, that is discover your genius. In the golden path, the activation sequence is this four spear out there. Uh, by the way, what I'm talking about, if you're interested, go to genekeys.com and create your hologenetic profiles. And you can be volunteer and tell me your life work, which is this one, then I can disclose what I see. That's your coming year, you're currently doing. So even I don't need to know you, <laughs> but I know the, the sequence and the expression. So you can go ahead to create your profile. And when I get to the points, I uh, welcome you to raise your hand and have some fun with me. So the activation sequence here, this two is called life work and evolution. So this two is kind of show us the challenges we're going to experience and uh, what kind of work we do in the beginning. And then we not necessarily like it. We do it because we think we have to, we should do. Uh, but when we're doing that, a lot of challenges, we're kind of just like, maybe this is the wrong path. So you start to evolution out to your beingness. So this is the being part. And if you, the doing and being is not aligned, then you will have a lot of sufferings. You always want to do something you love to do, but then uh, that didn't make money or someone said that is not smart. So you not follow your calling, you're doing something against yourself. And that is the genius part once you allow you to go through it then you can see your being and doing then you start to align both then your power start to show up that's how you can activate the rest of the cords then the second one is called venus that's our emotional uh path so this is the physical because you, the beingness is your health your uh uh Happiness is all in the physical level. By the emotion, this is called Venus. It's also the planet Venus. It teaches a lot, a lot of attractions and love and relationship. If you, like me, don't like myself so long and always do something against myself, I don't always doubt myself, this is the part need to be clean. So all the spear actually give us so much of the hints about why I feel a certain way, why I suppress my emotion and how I you know, react to somebody. This is all Venus sequence. And then the last one is called Pearl. Um, it's, it doesn't need you to be a business owner. It's just like how you influence others. We are all influencers because our energy is all connected. 
we are from the same source, right? So if we finally clean it up and also align, and that is the place we can shine through. Whatever you do, because that's you, you already align with who you are and you're powerful, no one can stop you. And that's a possibility. Prosperity is not money. Money is only 3D. We are the multi dimensional, right? So prosperity is like ease. So whenever you do, you don't worry. And money always come to you other than you have to make them. Uh, so the possibility is really alignment and also a lot of attraction all at work for you. Then the pearl is in the middle. So you think about pearl, right? You have an oyster, you have some kind of rock gain to their flesh and they hate it, but they couldn't take it out anyway. So they polish and nourish and make it bigger than the sand or the rock become glossy and shiny. That's the purpose we are here to do actually. So we chase, face a lot of challenges and hurts and suffers and all that is really to polish the pearl. So the pearl is only when we surrender, when we really enjoy who we are and accept, then you can shine through it. Your possibility will be just you. When just like, you know, Van Gogh or Shakespeare, that's who they are. We always remember their name, even they are not doing something particular. They don't make a lot of money, but we all remember them because this, uh, they are being, they just be who they are. And that's a possibility. That's become like state. They become the major character on stage. But most of us, we're not living our true self. We we'll always believe we are like this. We are not um, limitless geniuses. Then we just live things through, but we always giving the opportunity to polish our soul. So every time, every time there's no end, there's no beginning until we really become who we are. Then we get out the circle. But this is just the blueprint. At any moments we can always change. We don't need to follow the inner guidance because we can create whenever we want to change. I don't know anybody watch the movie everywhere, everything all at once. That's the 2023 uh, winner of the best picture. Is talk about that. So whenever you want to change, you change. You don't need to work the you know, go to the mountain to meditate for 10 years. Okay, you can do that. No one say that's not right, but it's different way to do it. Everybody has a different way to do it. So at this point, I don't know anybody has their profile created. Um, Want to get to the reading? I can actually stop sharing so I can see you. Let's see. Is there anyone that actually went to the website that she mentioned? and checked out. Oh, you did, Lisa? Okay. Yeah. So welcome to, I don't know, you can unmute yourself or you can type. Yeah, she can unmute herself. Yeah. Okay. I just got it done. So I don't I don't know what to show you, like just show it to you or? Well, just the first one, the first sphere called life work. What's the number? What is the point after that point? Uh, gate 25, gene key 25. Is that uh -huh. what you mean? Like, is that, let's say the life work 25 point something? It just says, uh, 25. You ready? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have this triangle. I do. I have a picture next to it. Is that what you want? Yeah. Can you just show me that so I can see it? Let's see. The picture of my genius. That yeah. Mm -hmm. And pin. Uh, the third page. You go down to the, the third page. They got totally three pages. Yeah. Um, how Keep about going? <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Where's page three? Okay. But 43? Oh, yeah, yeah. What is the top green one? The top green one says life's work 25.1. All right, 25.1. So you are coming from 
the low by is constriction, but the, finally the higher expression is universal love. You point one, you are the creator. So the one to six actually is your role for your work. Um, like I'm, I'm one too. So I'm the creator. I cannot stop create something new because that's mm -hmm. what I am. And but um, from the lower vibe, like you, from the constriction, because sometimes we think about love should be getting close with something, but that's become control. That's not condition, right? It's not conditioned. It's like just set free. Everybody can express what they want to do and respect their creations. So for you, maybe in your work situation, you feel like you need to create something all the time, but sometimes you also want the control. Um, you just don't trust that much yet, but your core, really your branding is bring more love to the world. That is the life work. But the contemplation, you can do, okay, constriction, right? Then you have acceptance. So you need to start to accept more of your genius other than to say, no, nah, I cannot do that. <laughs> so through more the acceptance and the joy and the happiness, then occasionally you can feel you just, you just love. You just love. You're just share everything with anybody because you create love. Hmm. Oh. Anybody else want to try? Yes, we have Nev. You want to unmute yourself or yep. Jesse, you have a question? Oh no, I was saying I created a profile too. Sorry. <laughs> oh no, I got it. I'm brand okay. new to two. Okay. So or maybe you can type that to too. It. You know, just type on the side. I should be able to see it now. So okay, I was just gonna write their names down. So um, let's get let's let Lisa move out of the spotlight here. Let's get that clicked off. Okay. Um, remove. Why isn't it add pin? No, we don't want to add pin. That was the wrong person. Okay, let's get. Remove pin, and we go to Lisa, and we remove pin. Now we go to Nev. There you are, my dear. I see Nev. So let's put her. Thank up. you so much, Jacqueline. No worries. There we go. I'm just trying to find the yeah the the readout because I did it quite a while ago. Um, let me see if I could get it. Can I on the um app the triple flame app? Okay. I. I don't know you can do triple frame app with the life work, can you? Um, there was a new to Jinky. So it took me to the the uh gene keys through the app. Like I guess it's mm -hmm. like an extension. But can you I see the life work life work number there? Yeah, I I, I was able to um get it downloaded um i think i have to sign back in here no problem. i apologize you, you know what? if time. you <laughs> if you want to go to somebody else and then come back to me you can <laughs> okay we can do that yeah all right i will just see are you ready and i will yes take nav off yeah i was having problems with my internet so that's why i took my video off to see if that would help do you no problem you to tell her what? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, the part that says my life's work, what I'm here to do, the number is 62. 62. What's the line after that? It has a paragraph that explains what it is. There's nothing else. Um, There's no go to the third page. They should have a like a 62 point something. Okay. There's a number there. So I can uh, help you with the line. 62.2. Point two. Point 0.2. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got you... 62 too, so I know the 62 very well. <laughs> 62 is kind of like, you know, oxymoron thing for me, the beginning. The shadow is the intellect. Like, what? So I don't want to be smart. <laughs> 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 right? So, but um, the really reason is that we're using our mind too much. That's our evolution right now. That's why we evolved to the different being because the mind is overused. Um, 
So think about when you are learning, um, the intellect become the tool to get ahead. And that create a friction. And then it create frustration or bitterness around people around us, right? So being a smart, sometimes in the way is hurting ourselves the most because you're too smart, nobody like you anymore. Or that yeah. <laughs> and I say, oh, it's just a nerd, you know, it's just yes. know everything. Who likes to know everything, guys? Well, I, I know that. I'm, it I'm, was I'm really bad in school, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I think about the... Um, the potential, right? Because you like to learn. Mm -hmm. Learning is the great energy. And through the learning, you can be precision. That means you choose the timing to say or not say. Your knowledge is not important until someone can use it, right? So you are start opening your heart to get your frequency and go out, your consciousness raise up. You begin to more knowing to say the right words in the right time. Okay. So it's not saying too much, but eventually you can be uh, incapability. That means no one can stop you when you say something, you're all telling the truth. Mm -hmm. um, and number two, the life work for you, number two is the dancer. Um, number two in the human design language is more like a hermit. You like to kind of hide in the different place and yeah. want to show up. <laughs> but at the time you are doing that, actually, you are doing self-reflection. So you're growing. You are raising your vibration when you're being alone. And you know how to dance with the outer world and inner world, right? Mm -hmm. so you know how to dance. That Actually, that will be your lifelong lesson, how to dance, how to say something. Even I love to learn, but the knowledge you would matter to share or not. Um, but uh, you definitely will a great journey <laughs> for that 62. And 62 is also very unique um, in the gene keys. Um, the I, I Ching hexagram, the 62 actually is before the end of the 63 and 64. That actually is the, the, the high climax about the human evolution. So keep doing that, using your smart and uh, make it very powerful. Wow, that sounds really nice. That sounds really good. All right, is Nev, are you able to come back or what's happening? Yeah, I'm. is it the top part of the uh, triangle that I'm looking at? Yeah, it's just uh, called like life work. In the life work, like, yep, it's 57. The 57.5 is my life work. Mm, 57. Magic key. <laughs> you are very intuitive. Because <laughs> that is in our spring center in the human design. That actually uh, is so-called like uh, our body awareness. Mm -hmm. If you calm down, you live in so more relaxing, you get all the download around you. And number five in the line energy level is the fixer. So that means you provide practical information or solutions mm -hmm. based on what you get from your intuition. Then your work, we will do a lot with that because it's just nat naturally knowing um, then can flow with the information you have. But also mm -hmm. life works a pair with the evolution. So you cannot really see one sphere and know it all. It's just a dance between evolution and life work. So you might do yeah. that a lot, but then evolution maybe turn you to a different realization. Oh, but I like 57. I have that one too. Just before, I don't know. I know things, but now I say, hey, I know. Because <laughs> I'm more <laughs> relaxed. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Letting it flow. Yeah. Yeah. My evolution is at 51.5. Yeah. That's the shocks, right? They give you yeah. a lot of surprise. <laughs> they do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, do they ever. <laughs> thank you for that. Oh, thank you for sharing. <laughs> Thanks, Nev. Hey, thank I, you. I think it's a Brad. Oh, yes, yes. Brad. Are you ready? We're ready for you. 
Uh, I am. Can, okay. can I share my screen? You sure can. Oh, no, share your screen. Can you just tell us the number that's on the? Oh, is, is that? Okay. I'm just trying to The green to color out. on the top. Yeah. Of the page Thir three. 35.3. 35.3. And where did you get that information? Some of the people that came in late, they're not sure. Uh, go to genekeys.com. Then okay. you should be able to create a free profile. And there, um, they also have a lot of resources if you're interested and welcome to navigate through it. But I hope our community can have some kind of study group. So we can offer one month and go through each spheres with lines and just have some fun to contemplate together. Um, at least that's what I think I can do if someone wants to join. Um, but uh, did you see it, Brett? Yeah, 35.3, 35. 35. right? So 35.3, do you like to eat? You're always hungry? Not. <laughs> Not always. No, <laughs> I have a sweet tooth, so <laughs> bit yeah. of a sweet tooth. Because of thirty-five is uh, from the low vice hunger, but the hunger is not only just the stomach hunger; is um, the hunger for experience for the life. So you want to take adventure. You want to jump into different place and just have some discovery. And you pair up with the three. Three is the people very funny. Um, but very transformative because the three, if you think the whole house, two level house for one to six, is the different level of the expression. One to three people usually stay in the first floor. Four to six is the second floor, so they can offer some guidance. But the three actually between these two. So three is always up and down, going places, and sometimes a leader, sometimes a follower. They are just really transformative. And for your 35, you are transfer your hunger to experience life, become more grounded and become adventurous, but that is chosen adventure, not just randomly uh, non-intentional. So once you get more mature, you start to choose the adventure, really boosts your energy, really let you to feel you are alive other than everything. Then you go in there, you can finally get to the boundlessness. That means you don't need to restrict yourself. Everything is adventure. Right? You don't label, say, this is no fun. This is fun. Let's do more of this. You're more like, let's have more fun. Like, I'm hungry for everything anyway. But then you know you don't jump into something like diminish yourself or make you feel little again because you, you are just no boundary. <laughs> So that is your uh, 35.3, your life experience, my experience, you know, for a longer time until you evolve. You take the evolution, you go to your beingness, then you start to align. So your yeah, life might not be. My there. evolution is 5.3. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that dance between 35 and 5 will give you enough challenge for you to take the initiative to break through your trauma. But most of us not necessarily want to go there because we cannot stay in our shadow sometimes. But the brave soul or the timing is right. We are, you know, we're stuck here, no fun. This maybe outside has more fun. So we start to break through. Um, then you can see your being as a different way to see yourself as a whole. Interesting. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> Okay, Jess, you are up. I will release <laughs> Brad from <laughs> the pin. Come on, remove pin. Okay, and we've got Jess. Do you want to give your number? Give your number. Yeah. Hi. Um, for the life's work. Yes. It's, uh huh. It's twenty-seven point four. Mm -hmm. Cool. Twenty-seven. That is one of my notes too. Um, 27 is start with 
selfishness. Don't feel bad about it. We all selfish, <laughs> but the selfish for a reason. Um, because our genetic is for survival. You know, we are involved with all different phases from bacteria to where we are today. Is all genetic, right? They are really the single self mentality to survive. But right now we are very complicated with all the single cells and all together we still have that habits to survive. So in the low vibration is really we still hold on to that selfness in our life. I don't get it. I don't feel safe. So I want to get it first. Uh, that's we understand that's in our genetics, but our conscious and our soul not necessarily align with that kind of restriction energy. Um, so from that, you start to um, release one of the track. Then you can go to give frequency and become altruism. altruism. I mean, you can see, oh, if I win, everybody wins better, right? Uh, if I win, everybody lose. And who is celebrating with me? <laughs> we just, everybody don't win or can celebrate together. That's more fun, right? So you open your heart other than to see, I know if I don't have it, I don't feel safe. Um, you start to open your heart to accept and live through all the challenges. Then once you go through the gift frequency, you have a potential to merge your light. It's the selflessness, like self selflessness. That means you you dissolve yourself. When people call it the death of ego, but I don't like to use the death of ego. It's just like you set out the boundary. I don't separate from you and I. We are all connected together, the unity consciousness. So why I have to win, you have to lose. How about we all win, right? So that your life work can be certain way. You have a small um, connection and you feel you need to hold on to this. But the more you want to hold on, maybe you lose more because you're not let it flow. So you start to open your heart. That's the gift frequency. Open our hearts and allow the experience. Then you just feel like if, you, if they win, I celebrate with them. I win, they celebrate with me. Then that is the potential you're going to live in in your new world. Yeah, um, I I actually, I find it hard to balance. I overgive. I'm just constantly giving to others. And so I actually, I have a hard time balancing that out. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that sometimes we only want to be shiny one. That's the other thing I love, jinkies. I love my shadow more than my light self because I'm still in the 3D. Right? I never... The only one you can go that lights is you're you're not in on Earth anymore. Uh, we we're not right. <laughs> we are all in the three D. So the more you can embracing the shadows and really to learn lesson from our shadow is the way to live in here. But our real essence is the light. So when you say you give a lot, that means you know you can give, but you need to take care of yourself first. So selflessness becomes important. When we don't know how to take care of ourselves, then we miss the boat. Great, thank you for that reading. AK, I know your hand is up, but we do have Rachel Harrell that was in the chat before you. So we'll go to Rachel and then we'll come back to AK. Rachel, are you ready to do this? Oops, do you have yeah. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> there you go. I will pin you. And if you want to tell Sunny what your number is on the top of page three. Um, 4.6 is the one that says life's purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Six is very, very special. Because the highest is forgiveness, right? Who, you know, we all leave a forgiveness. We are really um, are such a great <laughs> community, right? Um, so by the point six, people, um, you need to be very patient. Because think about if that's the energy level, you have to be, you know, one line of the hexagon is 10 years. So six sounds like you have to get mature about 60. 
But you don't need to wait that long. It's just understand you will have phases of your life. Um, but the four is really fun. The intolerance, you might have a lot of triggers. You want, you know, your life will say, oh, I don't like that. So you try to get away from it. Um, so you think if I have more boundary and I should be you know, easier to thrive, but it's quite opposite. You know, we are all living the reflections. Remember that tree of life thing? So if mm -hmm. the way we don't want actually the thing we need to face. Uh, so through your navigation, uh, you will be going to um, practice that understanding. Uh, you, you become more compassionate for others. You don't yes. like this. It's actually something I didn't claim, so I can see it. I can trigger it by it. Right, so you um, start to really understanding the whole thing. You open your heart to accept, and the highest one is forgiveness. So you will put on a lot of opportunity just to experience that. Um, yes, <laughs> that's beautiful, right? <laughs> Plenty of opportunities right now. Yes, yes. So um, it's funny you say intolerances because I have a lot of like physical intolerances. So that's kind of funny, but um. Yeah, physical and mind and soul is all together, actually. Energetically, it's all one field. So yeah. physical is easier for us to know, right? Um, yeah. But that is the amazing our body. Our body is the vehicle for us to know something is not quite aligned. Yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. All okay. right. Okay. I hope you, you guys are... like it. I mean, just <laughs> I enjoyed this. But... <laughs> I don't know how many that we that we can get done, but I do have AK now, Ashley, Cooper, if you're interested, and then Nicole. And that's, we are only here till 3.30, so I don't know if we'll get them all done, but we sure will try. Yeah. Oh, I know I will um have the chance for you to, to just uh, connect with me for 30 minutes, one-on-one, -on mini readings. That's for free. That's oh, also I will put, that, put your stuff yeah. back in the chat. And, okay, um, AK, so are you ready? So if you get a, didn't get it done, we're going to... Uh, book me or even see. you just think that's interesting you want to know more then perfect we perfect. can have a conversation so okay thank you ak are you there okay i guess we'll go on to ashley are hi you... oh ak hi. are you there now ak now it's no. muted so I don't. Are you with us? It says in the chat, "Come back to me." Oh, okay. Thank uh, you. Uh, <laughs> I didn't see it. I was looking everywhere else. Okay, Ashley, way you go. Yeah, hi. <laughs> um, my number is sixty-one point four. Sixteen. No, sixty-one point four. Yeah. Would you say that again? Sorry, the the internet. Uh, sixty-one point four. 61.4. Uh -huh, okay, okay. Thank you. All right. 61. Ooh, you don't like that name in the shadow, right? <laughs> when I read that, I say, what? Psychosis? Mm. Uh, but uh, that actually, everybody's psychosis because we're using our mind the wrong way. We program the wrong way. We think our mind is making decisions. Our mind is the best part of our body. We're using our mind to judge, to separate ourselves, right? This is psychosis because it's, we are perfectly built. We don't have any defaults. It's just different. And we want to fit in with different uh, expectations. No wonder we think we are not right. We're not, you know, if you're a circle, we cannot fit in the square. Um, so, how do you see the psychosis as a negative thing, but actually be kind of positive? And the shadow really just to accept we are different and don't use it in a negative way. I'm different, celebrate that, right? And so you open your heart, you don't really judge yourself that much, then you can shift to the inspiration. Because the psychosis is really using the old standard to fit you. But your inspiration is to create a new thing. You want other people to see you differently. 
So other than fight, you invent, you inspire others. You're using your differences to let people see you have different way to deal with anything. So that is open heart experience to become inspiration. Then you can go further to be um, sensitivity. That again, in you know, all the higher frequency, the city is not in this realm, but it's us. And that means in, in some time, certain time, people kind of losing their mind or they have this kundalini, whatever, right? Then that's you, actually. <laughs> and you think like, oh, I'm in the low vibe, you know, suffering. I don't have money. I don't have that, that, that. But that is our viewpoint. We choose that life experience. But our real uh, humanness is totally outside our mind and our state. So in the city 1.4, Again, four is friendly. You always try to fit in. You always try to please. You feel like you need other people around you, other when you don't feel safe. But remember that, like we are all the, the, together. You never be alone. You just need to live through your own truths. Um, so that might be your branding. Eventually, you go through all the cleaning and all the sufferings, and you finally know you're. We're just here to inspire others. Oh, that's wonderful. Here to inspire others. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> we you. all come here to inspire others, right? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. AK, are you with us now? I don't hear him. So, Nicole, do you want to unmute? Hello. I'll unmute him. Okay, let's unmask too. So um my top number is 40.6. Okay. 40. Anything with a zero is a very significant piece. 40. 40.6, 40. you said, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So let me see my notes. 40. Ah. My younger son has that. So Exhaustion is your low vibe. The mm -hmm. reason you feel exhaustion is because you're against yourself. So in the life world, sometimes you're just choosing the wrong battle. <laughs> so you want to fight and fight until you're so exhausted, burnout. The burnout really is just the alignment issue. The energy, if you align with the source, you shouldn't have any energy problem. If you do sleep, wake up, sleep, wake up, you eat nice, you love yourself, you are endless. You cannot stop your energy. But the reason we feel exhaustion is really a non-issue or something you're doing is not actually what you're supposed to do. So the challenge for 40 is look more of your patterns. What exhausts you? Is the people around you? They are the energy drainer. Or is the work itself didn't really align with it? So you drain your energy all the time. Human design chart can help you to see that even more. Mm -hmm. um, but I think the point six, again, you need to be patient. Everything with the six, they are the teachers. They mm -hmm. need to learn and live through all the challenges and they can be a great teacher. So the number six is really the rooftop person, you see the two-story home, right? Uh, one, two, three is the first floor, three is up and down, second and one, and four, two, five, four, five, six. But a six is actually on the rooftop. It's so wise, can see a lot of things, but they are disconnected with the fundamental life sometimes. Um, so the challenge you know, or uh, something you need to go through, make you tired, exhausted, actually is the the boot camp <laughs> you need to go through so that you can become a great teacher for others. And I think you are, go allow to your heart to open, right? You can resolve. So your exhaustion is gone because you see them different attitude. For example, mm -hmm. if you have a boss, you're really hard to work with, right? You go in there every word, you just feel drained. You see this person coming to the door. But if you change your attitude, uh, this person's coming here to teach me a lesson. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that opportunity. Then you change your attitude. You, 
your energy, the gratitude coming in, right? And you just <laughs> resolve the issue. You don't have an issue to start with, just your view, your attitude to see that person in that lens. Um, so after that, you got this called divine will, right? So divine will is you actually know why you are here for. Then you can choose to align with your divine goal. You don't have your will. Your will is the source will, right? So you totally flow like freedom. You don't feel exhausted anymore. You just in the flow, in the zone, <laughs> whichever you want to do. Yes. Yeah. That's so cool because that's what's been happening in life right now. So cool. Congratulations. That I that whole journey from birth through this time. I mean, I'm I'm working through, I'm looking at the chart right now. And as I read it, I, I understand them. I, it, it, this is so interesting to me. And I thank you because this is how my mind works. So the mathematical side of this and the understanding of the, the scientific side of this, I'm totally in flow with this, which is great. Um, so I get it. And, and, and looking through and, and seeing your three steps that you were talking about um, with the with the physical and, the, and everything and the Venus and the mental um, I see that chart and I, I I actually see where I am right now. So I'm feeling really good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm, I'm selling, getting close. Going. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, Thank I you. actually has a AK the chart right here. I can just say, but I don't know if he can hear us. Yes, you can. Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, oh, so you, you are here too. Okay. My mic is not working. Uh, so I think yeah. I'm uh, 3.2. Uh, yeah, well, on you can the hear us, Top right? note. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and uh, the question I was also curious to know, sure. I, I noticed is that there's two intersection points like vocation and purpose. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm curious, does that have more significance than all the other sephiroles? Well, actually, they are all intertwined. It just they have to create some kind of separations, right? <laughs> so otherwise, we cannot see it. Our eyes cannot see anything out, outside of 3D. But they are all the fields. It's not a separation, I think. They are all the expression from our genetics. Every single cell has the same genetics, right? So we have 50 trillion cells. Um, they all, you think of it, they all align, they all vibrate the same way. That's the powerful we can be. But right now we are in chaotic because 3D is always this, that, this, that. We're not coherent. So then the power disappears. But then we don't have a power. So no, we, we diminish our own power because we are not focused. We are not coherent. That's how we think a uh, human is useless, but no, we just didn't know how to use ourselves yet. <laughs> but um, 3.2, that three actually is right now the current transit. So you might feel amplified about the three a little bit. Um, so the three is, you know, number one is the heaven, number two is the earth. Three is the creation. So three has a lot of creation power then you have a lot of chaotic experience when you are in the low vibe, when you not open your heart, you want to fight the chaos, you want to control, you want to harmonize your life. Uh, that is how the chaos becomes stronger. Then number two, again, that is the reflective, the hermit kind of the energy. You need to be alone certain time of the day to ground yourself. So your chaos can be more you can flow with the chaos other than to against it. So once you don't against your chaos, that becomes your creativity. You start to create music, dancing, um, arts, and painting. Because we don't against that, we use that creation energy. Actually, I heard Dr. Bruce Litton say, chaos is the language of the universe. Think about that. Yeah, <laughs> if we don't have a chaos, there's no universe. We don't have a big bang, there's nothing, right? The void is nothing. We need a chaos to create. So for you, 3.2, like I said, you have a lot of potential. You're, even you're not the number one creator, but you are naturally there to create more of innovations, right? So you finally get to, 
your innocence. Innocence really in Taoism, in ancient text, the best quality of the human being is infant. They don't have a judgment. They are just expressed. I'm hungry, they cry. Right? I'm angry, they cry. <laughs> they don't worry about why to cry, not to cry. You know, They just express themselves fully. That is in the Taoism, that's the highest expression of a person as a being on earth. Um, then you will be the innocent being to express that if you allow that. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Next up, we have Cooper, and his number is 1.6. Wow, what a powerful one. The star was the heaven, right? Wow. <laughs> it was the Big Bang one, right? One is the first key, one to 64, but we know it's no beginning, it end. So the one is to create is just knowing that is entropy. Again, that is uh, energy kind of very not settled. But when you start to navigate it, you start to understand every moment is the chance to create something fresh, right? So just like the sun, look like their neighbor change, right? But they actually have a lot of information. That's how the gene keys and human design, we have a neutral node from the sunlight. And that's only not just the energy, it's the information. If you start to open, you start to download, just like everybody, right? You can become download something when you're more relaxed, you start to have information to you. Then that power create something fresh, like the season, right? Every day actually different, right? That's, that's the angle of the sun. This is how the flower know when to open, when to not open, and what kind of plants they bloom in the spring, some of the tree bloom in the fall. They all have the information downloaded from our sunlight. Um, so for you, it's really just flow with the na nature. You create the entropy, but it's needed for every beings. But you from the open heart experience, you create a freshness around you then eventually you will be like a beauty of whatever the universe created. You're not separate from the creations. You are, you are the creation. <laughs> That's the beauty in me. Yeah, I think we are um, hoping that I help you. Oh, Nicole has oh. a question maybe. Thank you, Sunny. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, Nicole. Yeah, so my number is 37.1. Mm -hmm. 37. That is called family key. So you are really um, into the tribal. You need to feel part of the family. You're friendly. Um, but the doing that, sometimes you will have a journey to um, people will say, oh, you don't have a boundary. And they can run you over because you're so gentle, you're so giving. But people sometimes see that as a weakness, like, oh, she's so easy to manipulate, let's do that. Um, you all say yes, right? <laughs> and say, oh yeah, um, uh, it's just the pattern you used to be, you're just friendly. Um, but the weakness actually become more gentle, particularly gentle to yourself. So you're not weak, actually, you just want to be part of the creation. So you start to shift from the weakness to equal equality. Equality doesn't mean say, okay, I give you something, you give me back. No, the equality is you start to know you really don't need to um, lower or upper to anybody. You are everybody is the unity, right? But then because you're open-hearted, people actually sense that they don't want you over. They say, oh, Nicole is so fair. She say no. Yeah, she say no. So they go in a way. <laughs> not because you're so worried about, oh, if I say no, they are not going to like me, you know, that kind of thing. You don't worry about that anymore. You're open hearted, but people know you. You will become this powerful being. No one will run you over. Um, that eventually does your higher self for that you are actually is the tenderness. The tenderness in the Tao is just equal to the, the infant, right? Infant is so soft, 
but they are so powerful. When they cry, everybody around and say, what's going on with them, right? Um, so they are really powerful. They are tender. Um, even the wild animal hurt them. They, they are just such a adorable beings. Um, so that tenderness is actually our, our planet Earth, right? Our planet Earth is always tender and caring for us. They don't complain. They provide, but we not necessarily take care of them. <laughs> so the tenderness is just the universe being. They are all here to support us. Uh, and we have all the secrets, all the codes inside of us. It's just how we choose to live it. But Jinkies to me really just start to raise the consciousness aware around my uh, environment. And I can hear, I can feel um, I'm supported, you know, the guide, connection to source. I don't know, I have those until recently start to relax. And for me, it's just a really amazing tool for us to contemplate with it because everybody's different. Everybody has a different mind. So there's not going to say, okay, I learned this and I should be healed. No, we can all heal ourselves until we accept, right? And contemplate our shadows. <laughs> I consider this kind of shadow work, right? Just face our shadow, but we can all have fun. But I so appreciate your time with me and uh, Jacqueline for all your supports and all the lovely friends I connect recently. Um, that is set. We will have um, the free call. You can go ahead to um, book the call. Then um, on that um, link, there's another link. I have a program called Tune Up and Clean Up. It's based on my uh, toolbox. Then I can, other than let you to be aware, your genetic codes, the Tune Up is really let you do alignments based on your life journey. I can decode more then clean up. We all need that, right? All the baggages and stuff. Um, so if you're interested to have a call, and welcome to book that discovery chat too. Uh, Jacqueline, you are on mute. I would like to thank you for such a wonderful afternoon on our Saturday. Um, I had a wonderful time and I'm sure others did too. You just got you were teaching us things that a lot of us, most of us here didn't, didn't know about. So we got our little taste of it and we know that you'll be back with more. Okay. And if everyone can just remember that they do have um, the chance to go to the, well, there's no message. There's no other meetings set up yet. So there's no link for those meetings as of yet. So you can't get, too crazy out there. People, people are asking for your links already to your next meetings. Oh. No, nope, don't have. That's so nice. That's <laughs> so kind. Um, yes, you can find Sunny on the partner pages for the partner pages of Awkwardly Zen. I will put her information here again. There we go. And a great big thank you again. It was a wonderful day. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much for everybody. We made this happen. <laughs> Yeah, it Thank was you. an informative presentation. It was nice. Thank you very yeah, much. Really nice. All right. We'll see you around. Have a great weekend. One of the people said they went to your site, but they didn't see a place to book. Is that possible? To book the chat? Like you, your 30-minute little chat? When I Oh, that is the... Once you opt in, then you will have a link in the first email I sent you to your email. So oh, okay. you can opt into the gift. So then I will have the sequence give you all the things. Okay. Sites. So you'll get in contact with them after they link into your gift. Yeah. Yeah. Or you okay. can just you can you don't want to have the gift. You don't care about happiness. Just book the chat. <laughs> That's <laughs> <Yes>. fine too. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you everyone. It's three thirty, perfectly on the dot. Have a wonderful rest of your afternoon or morning or evening wherever you guys are. And I'm sure we will be back again. I'm sure Sunny will be here. So thank you so much. Thank Have a you. Wonderful day. Take care. Be the genius Bye. you are. <laughs> <laughs>